So just getting as comfortable as you can. Just like walk your shoulders down into the mat and wiggle your hips a little bit and wobble your feet back and forth so they're, they're relaxed. A couple of you can't move. <laughs> little bit weighted down that's awesome so we're going to start at our heart center and build some breathing there and just build some love and breathing from the chest expanding it and then using the belly to put all the old air out and bring your chest down with that exhale and then on your inhale fill it full and your exhale have the belly help you squeeze it out and then squeeze the ribs down to get the old air out. And imagine each time you fill your lungs with air, you're filling your body and your emotion tank with love. And thinking of something that you would love to have in your life right now. And creating this heartfelt intention for yourself. I would love to have this in my life right now. And come to your solar plexus just a little bit lower than your heart. And think about truth. It would be good for me to have this in my life right now. That's the truth. I come from truth for my intention of something to increase my self-love, my love of the situation. Where I am in my life right now on earth. And just feel the truth. This is true. This is what I want. This will be helpful. and be for the greater good, not just for me. Even if it's something that's going to make my life better, then I will in turn make everyone's life better. Because it is raising the complete vibration of the collected consciousness. This is truth. I come from truth. I come from love. And we're going to work on self love and acceptance. We've got to relax our body first because even our own body will create resistance against itself when you're trying to fully love yourself. Your body's like, I don't deserve that, or I'm not comfortable with that, I haven't done much of that before. <clears throat> this is time to get comfortable with fully loving yourself. And so let's get comfortable in our skin and relax the skin. Relax the muscles. Relax the tissues. Mm. 
relax the organs and stop any resistance there. Just open them up and let them go at their own speed. Relax your belly. Relax your breath, just noticing it working on its own. Relax the muscles in your jaws. Relax the muscles around your mouth and tongue. <clears throat> Relax the muscles around your eyes. Feel your eyelids lengthen a little. They just stretch up a little and then relax. And relax the muscles behind the eyes. Relax the muscles around the eyes. Relax your temples. And your forehead and eyebrows. Relax your neck. And your shoulders. Let them fan out on the floor. And down the middle of your back. And notice any tension you may be holding in your hips or glutes. Relax, just let them fan out. the thighs and knees. The calves are very relaxed, just hanging from your shins. Your ankles relaxed and your feet and toes. Taking a breath from the bottom of your feet up to your hips. And exhale. Ground down with your exhale. Put that air back down to the feet. And then inhale through the bottoms of the feet up to the chest. And then exhale, ground down through your arms, relaxing the arms and elbows and wrists and hands as you exhale. Then another inhale up from the bottom, all the way up over your head. And a long, deep exhale that relaxes you, gets you deeper into your meditation and noticing your relaxed body and your relaxed brain and being ready for a possible new program that you've not uh, practiced enough for yourself. Being ready to, it sounds very simple, <clears throat> but to love yourself. Realize that this life is in your favor. You're here 
out of love, because of love, and that that is your journey is to find love. And we need to learn acceptance and forgiveness and know that this pure love for you is your truth and that it feels good and so let's start with forgiveness and forgiving ourselves for anything that we hold above ourselves as something that we are constantly shooting for but never really getting and feeling like um, we're failures at something or um, some crazy expectations that we've put on ourselves, some limitations that um, are just not truth. And we'll forgive ourselves for spreading ourselves too thin for other people. And we'll forgive ourselves for for any feelings of self-doubt. Any feeling for constantly double-checking yourself and not trusting yourself. And we'll forgive ourselves for choices we made in the past and we forgive ourselves for for other people that we feel like we shouldn't have got involved with or or that brought us down in some way and anyone that we feel like we could ever blame. We will forgive ourselves for blaming them and involving them in lowering our self-love. We will just forgive all that because that is the past. And when we forgive it, it's like deleting it off of our record. Didn't happen as a thing to refer back to as, well, last time I did this, I can remember something bad happened. You just erase all that. You don't have a a data bank to go back to. Every experience will be fresh and new and real without any judgment ahead of it, without any pretense. You will just always come from love. So deleting the past with forgiveness, especially to yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. Love yourself. If you could go back to your young self, maybe 12 years old, just about ready to start making some big decisions in your life and go through big changes. Um, Like, what would you say to your 12-year-old self? Like, here comes puberty. (laughs) Um, Just know that I love you. Just know that you're going to make it through. Make wise choices. 
come from truth all the time. And just send yourself, your younger self, some love. Like as if you could rewrite your past. You really just can. And you can just delete it. It was so long ago. Why do we keep referring to it? Why do we keep letting the past limit us in any way? And so now we're forgiven. You're the only one who really can forgive yourself and know that this would be a point of moving on from here on out. That you will practice this acceptance of accepting the forgiveness that you gave to yourself. Accepting forgiveness from others if you feel it's a good thing to go ask for to help clear your mind. And if anyone ever comes to you and asks for forgiveness, you would accept it. You would give them the forgiveness. And in your acceptance, you would learn to start accepting everyone else for being their authentic self, that they came from truth and they were just being themselves. That you couldn't program them to be the way you wanted them to be. They were just being them. And so you forgive yourself for setting them up for any type of failure by your expectations. You just accept them. You don't expect anything from them. You're here on this self-soul journey, not anyone else's. And then when there's a particular person who might be hard to accept, you can find out what is triggering you about them by just saying, that person drives me so crazy because they do this. Then you look back in your life and you say, did I do that ever? And most chances are yes, And you can forgive yourself and forgive them and accept them. It's also probably in the past. And don't expect anything, just acceptance. Knowing that life is not a contest. We're all winners. And it works so much nicer when there's no enemies. It's like you would say, I am not the enemy here. And the other person would say, I am not the enemy here. All I want is happiness. That's all I want too is happiness. Coming to an agreement of happiness and love from truth. And then realizing that that person was an amazing teacher. We accept everyone who comes across our path as a teacher in some form. Boy, that person taught me a lesson. Thank you. Thank you for that. They usually made some sort of agreement with you a karmic contract that before you even came here you guys were going to work on this together and having that knowledge it takes a load off just doing karmic work And now, to smooth it all over with a bunch of love. So we'll practice generating loving presence 
and choosing to be loved. And this comes from Dr. Sue Mortar's book, Energy Codes. This practice gives you a direct route to the vibration of love that is waiting to be ignited inside you. It provides the tangible experience of love we all seek and makes super flurious the need to seek love outside ourselves. It also gives you tremendous freedom to be the truest version of yourself without agenda. This clarity of self is essential for living from the vibration of love for healing and creating in your life. So the first thing you do is you think of someone or something that you dearly love. Could be a friend, a family member, a pet, your childhood sweetheart, your current sweetheart, or the soulmate you haven't yet met. It could be the love of spring, a favorite place, a cherished memory, or even an object that has great meaning for you. Choose anything that generates the sensation of love within you. What makes you just say right out loud or feel your heart flip? I love when that happens or I love when I see that or I love when I feel that. What really makes you just say I love that so much? Fill your heart with the sensation of love. Two, as you call up this person or thing that you love, understand that this object of love is actually revealing the vibration of love to you. It doesn't bring love to you. It brings up love from within you so that your mind can perceive the love you already have inside of you the love that you are, it causes you, the real you, to come out. So the object of love is actually revealing the vibration of love that you have inside of you. Now, fill your heart with the presence of this person, object, or memory. Fill your senses with this image. How did it feel to feel this in love? How does that feel in your body? Sense how you feel on the inside when you think of this image. That love buzz. Love drunk. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. So much joy. Next, turn up the volume on this experience. Double it, and then double it again. Feel your body with the love that you have for this person or thing and let it overflow out of your body and into the room and make it even bigger than the room by dropping into the experience completely with every part of your concentration. Again, notice how you feel in your body as all this love is happening. Memorize how it feels. Imagine you're like floating in a pool of uh, healthy seawater that is just love 
and it's like a vibration of love and it's vibrating into your skin and vibrating into your muscles and you just feel surrounded by love like you could actually go swimming through love Memorize how that feels. Now say to yourself, this is for me. I receive it all. Drop the love that is bigger than the room into the center of your own being and receive it fully. Call it home to you. Come back onto the subject and feel it in every crevice of your body. Feel yourself so full of love. Love, love, love. <clears throat> now we'll squeeze the Mula Banda, the root lock, to deeply feel the vibration on a physical level. And then take a breath up and down your central channel in your core as you've learned in the previous times. And you will start to sense the anchoring of love's specific vibration in your body. So concentrate on your breathing, trying to bring up the pelvic floor. And like you're just breathing love, breathing love, vibrating love, floating in love. Nurture this feeling and vibration of unconditional love for several breaths. And think of a moment that you felt completely, unconditionally, unwavering loved. Maybe it was being loved by your grandmother, maybe your mother maybe a partner or a best friend it could even be a pet notice if there is any area that has more of a charge in your body and squeeze it and breathe down through the ch central channel into the earth opening the bottoms of your feet Envisioning yourself, not just the energy, reaching and rooted, rooting down through the earth. Just feel rooted and grounded with your earth with your love i love to be connected i love to be grounded i love to be centered and focused and rooted in Now think about a situation that currently feels like a challenge for you. For example, a relationship conflict, a health or financial crisis, a major loss or the threat of one. Ask yourself, if this circumstance were simply a gift or opportunity from myself to myself, so I can expand in my capacity to love, how might my view of it shift? Which we know. We know any time there's a challenge, on the other side of it, there's a gift. And ask yourself, if this circumstance were simply a gift or opportunity, 
from myself to myself so I can expand in my capacity to love? How might I view? How might my view of it shift? And then using the practices of generating loving presence, take this situation to the body and into your heart and see whether to build new circuits and allow on a bonfire of love to transmute the old and help forge a new. So kind of like that all-consuming flame in the heart. Just take it there and let the heart handle it with love. And I like the idea of forging since that's what Mitch does. He has this really hot forge. It's a coal stove and he burns metal and gets it so hot that he can transmute it into something different. He can bend it and turn it into something useful. And if you like, follow up with action. Ask yourself, in what ways can I now choose to more deeply love myself and others through this experience? If expanding in love is the reason for this experience, what is my heart telling me to do? What is the universe asking of me now toward accepting my magnificent ability to live in love? And then follow your heart. So I had a epiphany of this in my own life just this week. We're read the book The Journey Home by Lee Carroll that was channeled by Cryon and it's this guy's journey of going home but he's basically in the coma and then during the coma he's learning how to take care of himself and love himself and love in his higher self and find out that they're one and the same and that he's all powerful and he's can have whatever he wants and conquer anything and have the best that life deserves that he deserves the best that We all deserve the best, but there's no way you're going to get it unless you love yourself fully and completely. Then you get the best. But if you only love yourself a little bit, you get a little bit. If you love yourself medium, you get medium. If you love yourself all the way, you get all that you want. So it starts with unconditional self-love no conditions I'll love myself when I get to this weight or I'll love myself after I get into this job or I'll love myself after this situation happens in my life that I'm setting myself up well you would get there a whole lot better if you loved yourself in all of those goals It's the key, the secret. Fully love yourself and you have this magic secret key. just coming back to what your heartfelt desire was. What was it? What did you desire? 
something from your truth that's going to make you a better person or just make life easier or help you to help people all be better. What was the thing if you could really, really, really have something, if it could be given to you, what would it be? Feel yourself experiencing the thing you really want and having all of this confidence and self-love and full-on acceptance for yourself and everyone who crosses your path. You will receive beyond belief. You come from truth. You come from love. You're very connected. You're very forgiven. You're very allowed. Give yourself permission to have and do and be whatever you want. Let yourself go. If you've been wrestling with something and fighting your head over something, that's very unnatural. Love is natural. Acceptance is natural. Going with the flow is natural not fighting against nature. And feeling this love and acceptance from your higher self. Feel as if you're the parent of yourself and you love yourself so much because you know the only way to make yourself totally succeed is to love it, love it, love it, accept it, even during its times of self-expression or testing, love that about yourself. Anything that you feel like is a blip on your record, love that about yourself too. Look at how you overcame. Look what lessons you learned and love that. Fully and truthfully love yourself. There's nothing fake about it. You accept your body. You accept your hair. You accept your unique face. No one else has one like it. You accept your situations in life. Because even if they seem slightly hard, that is the beauty of the good thing coming. This feeling... peace with your breath, if 
feeling safe, relaxed, calm, very loved, no conditions, just, man, love yourself, you're so great. You are living your purpose. And you are fulfilled just by loving yourself. There's nothing else you quite really need. This self-love will get you to where you need to be and have what you need to have. feeling this overwhelming love and acceptance for yourself imagine that inner child in you your 12 year old self and you are so grateful for this time together where you can reassure yourself that it's all going to be okay you ask your 12 year old self if, if it has anything to say to you What would your 12-year-old self say to you? And just being grateful for this chance on life, on earth, life on earth right now. Big changes. It's like constantly changing and it's like upping the game of, wow, I love myself so much. I'm going to be okay. I feel incredibly safe. And just feeling so much love and compassion for yourself. And wishing yourself... loving kindness hey self may you be happy let's say it as if it's present tense may you stay happy may you stay healthy may you be always in the state of self-love. May you stay accepting may you be always in this state of receivership of love and blessings. just sort of throwing that back out into the whole world just like confetti it's like may you all feel this way may you all stay feeling healthy and happy and loved and feeling yourself coming back into this room with all of this self-love for you that you're going to take with you. You're going to stay in this self-loving, full-on deserving state of mind. And you're going to come back to your breath back to the floor and your body touching the floor you come back to 
your chest and feeling the breath expanding the chest and noticing the diaphragm squeezing all the air out and releasing and taking an inhale and just being a little more awake and aware awake and aware and coming into the body fully now and making it move wiggling your fingers and your toes and stretching through some of your muscles Keep your eyes closed so they don't get blinded by the beautiful sunny sky. 